Hey guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in this tutorial I'm going to be finishing up the modern micro house that I started in, in yesterday's tutorial, so this will be a part 2. And before I get started, make sure to like this video, it helps me out a lot, and make sure to subscribe. Okay, so I'm continuing on, I this is where we left off. So let's add the door to the bathroom, I just remembered I forgot that, so I'm just going to go here to level 1, go to architecture, door, and let's place one door like this and now we can change it so I'm just going to change it to the smallest door go into 3D yeah that looks alright but it's kinda of poking through if I switch here to realistic you can see it's kinda of poking through so I'm just going to go into edit type for this door edit type and let's just change the height to 1.9 go apply okay I know it's a quite a low door but it's a quite small house okay so let's continue on let's do the stairs to the kind of bed sleeping area so I'm just going to go here to level 1 and let's create just a simple staircase using Revit then we'll later on turn into that kind of a staircase that has kind of a shelf modeled inside so I'm just going to go here to stair and I'm going to go to monolithic stair and just draw it from level 1 to level 2 so just place it like that now I'm going to select it move it to this wall over here make it extremely small and let's go into level 2 to make sure that it's aligned so I'm just going to align it here to this lock it in place now you can see this stair isn't really fitting in so what do you do in this case I'm just going to hit delete and again go here to create stair level 1 to level 2 but scroll down here and for the thread uh, the actual thread depth just type in 0.2 and here for the number of risers let's type in 10 now it's going to give you a warning but don't worry so you create your stair and as you can see it's a lot shorter it's a steep stair but in these micro houses steep stairs are quite popular so I'm just going to align it here so just align it here lock it in place and make it a lot smaller because we're only using this as a template so just go finish and let's delete these elements we don't need the railing and now let's go into 3D so we have this kind of funky looking stair don't worry we're going to fix it up so I'm just going to go into level 1 and create a section so I'm just going to place a section like this kinda of flip it to the other side and open it up so here we have our stair now let's go into component model in place let's choose stairs go OK and now let's create our stair family so I'm just going to go to create extrusion I'm going to pick a plane and I'm just going to pick this wall like so and let's start modeling our stair so you just kinda create one step and then just using copy and make sure you check multiple you copy it up okay so once this is completed you can take every other step and kinda extend it like this so I'm going to extend this one, this one, this one as well, and this one here. And once you've done that, you can use this offset tool. And let's put an offset of 0.3. That's OK for a shelf. And then just create, kind of give it a bit of thickness. And then you're going to do the same thing to each step. Now, once you've done that, you're going to use trim and extend and split tools to kind of fix this up so let's kind of cap this off over here and now using trim and extend just trim this trim that and this is for split element so you just go split here and then you trim and extend this so you kind of repeat that And once you're finished, just hit finish, go into level 1, and now you can kind of extend it to hit this kitchen element over here, and you just go finish model, 
and now you can just delete your stairs because you don't need them anymore and now if we go here we can see we have our staircase completed okay so once that's done it, you only need to set the materials and add the furniture so I'm just going to show you a couple of things about setting the materials how do you get this part over here where if we look in the image this part over here is kind of a wood material and this inside is kind of a white wall material and the same thing goes for these floors over here this will be kind of that wood material and this will be that white material now how do you do that well first we need to select our wall and go into edit type and make sure to add another material so I'm just going to go here to insert and for this structure material I'm going to make it 0.3 meters and let's add something black so I'm just going to type in black and let's do I don't know let's do this and go OK and for this let's do something white so let's type in white and let's use this gypsum wallboard go OK and for the thickness let's do 0.2 or 0 0.02 and let's do this at 0.28 so it's 30 centimeters total so once this is finished just go apply OK and now if we go into level 1 we can kind of flip this wall and flip it over here as well so once this is completed now if we go into 3d you can see this is how it looks like it's black on the outside and white on the inside and if I select this wall and go here to create parts it kind of splits these two materials so if you zoom in this is one material this is the other so we can select this material over here and we can do the same thing here just go create parts so that's kind of split so I'm just going to select this and go divide parts and then go edit sketch so it's actually allowing me to cut down this it's kind of similar to doing custom tiles in Revit and if you want to see that tutorial link to it is in the description so I'm just going to go here to south elevation perhaps make sure this is at or no let's use our section that's even better yeah and let's set the work plane so just go pick a plane and set it to this and now let's just do a line through the center line of our wall so you just do one vertical line where you want to basically cut the wall in half go finish finish and now if we go into 3d you can see we can actually select just this wall material without the other part of the wall and now if I scroll down here in the properties panel I can uncheck material by original and here for the material I can actually choose another type so I'm going to go here to home and let's go to wood materials and let's let's do this this looks kinda similar to the image go apply OK and there you go so even though this is one wall this part is wood and this part is some white white gypsum wallboard material and now I'm going to do the same thing for these floors so I'm going to show you that as well so you just go into edit type and because we're using the same walls here up and down we need to kind of create a, a bit of different material so I'm going to go here to duplicate and let's just call it two I don't really care and let's leave this this at 15 or maybe leave it at 10 perhaps point one okay and now let's insert a couple of materials so for this one I'm just going to move it down or move it up okay so this is our structure material it's point one this will be point one as well and this one will be point one two so for this one again I'm going to go with something just something black so just type in black now let's do this one okay and for this one I'm going to be using my wood material so let's find it I'm just going to fight find the wood yeah here it is so just go OK and now you can kinda control C control V to paste it over here and just go OK OK and now it's all kinda thicker 
but we have our desired material. So I'm just going to select these two and go create parts so it kind of split up the material. And then for let's, let's do the bottom one now and then you'll know how to do the upper one as well. So I'm just going to go to divide parts, edit sketch, go into floor plan, level one, and then just by selecting here these wall center lines, I'm just going to cut this surface, go into finish, finish, go into 3D, and this is how it looks like. So you can just select this inside part, uncheck this material by original, and just change it to some white, something white. And let's use this interior finish, okay. And now it's, we have this white floor over here. And as you remember, it kind of this house has kind of a black face over here over this. So I'm just going to go into level one, and let's just change this to wireframe hidden line. Okay, this is a ceiling plan. Let's go into floor plan. Okay, so let's go to just architecture component, and here we have this model in place option, and let's just use generic model, just go OK, and go into create, and let's do a, a, an extrusion. So go rectangle, and create a rectangle like this, and then create another one with an offset of 0 0.05 meters, or 5 centimeters, something like that. And now if we go into south elevation, for example, we can attach this to bottom part of the floor, and to the upper part of our level 3. So let's go into 3D, and it looks kind of like this. Now we can select it and change the material to same black material. So here I'm just going to go for this, go OK. So it's kind of black now. And if we go into level 1, we can see we need to cut from this side, that's east elevation. So I'm just going to go here to create, void, void extrusion, pick a plane, and I'm going to pick this face over here. And I'm going to switch here to wireframe. And then I'm just going to create a rectangle like this. That kind of encompasses the whole house. So just go finish, go into 3D, and we can actually select our void, extrude it a little bit, maybe go like this, and make sure it comes to this wall over here, go finish. And this is what you get. You get this black face and it's even on the other side of the wall. Okay, so this is pretty much it for this house. I think you get the point how you model a house like this in Revit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.